just as we planned. We didn't have an answer for the Gyarados. Super Symphony was the only one who could deal with him. Our plan to deal with the Dragon Knights can't work without her. But this is a risk we know we had to take. This first battle will decide if we stick to the plan or have to start throwing Hail Marys. What a counter! Using her water absorbability, Persephone gets a free turn to punish the opponent. <laughs> Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Looks like Persephone couldn't get the confusion look she needed. And just like that, our plan fell apart in an instant. Now we had to use backup strats and improvise what we had left. Persephone secured to her with a powerful ice beam. Will we get to see it used on the Dragonites? Marcel! On it! Why and Marcel was taking care of the air attack that bought us some time. We need a safe switch in for Persephone against the champion. Persephone can't battle until we can do that for her. We'll have to stall them out on their full resource hand. Oh. Russell takes another victory for Team 420 Blades of Johto, but now one of the Dragonite Trio at Jaxio has taken the battlefield. Roy, stall them out their full restores. You got it. It was all happening so fast. I could barely process what was happening when Archer was on top of it. Her. Audrey, let me switch in with Roy. I can use my ability to lower his attack and take at least one hit. Roy's not hitting hard enough. I can dish out more damage. But... Please! <sighs> All right, switch out as soon as he uses his full restore. There, he used it. Belmont, switch out with me. Belmont, what are you doing? You don't have a safe switch in. Let me do a little more. Don't worry, we're all here to back you up. Now come back! Damn it, Belmont. He's not a fighter at heart. He struggled the hardest out of anyone on the team. Now he wants to prove to us that he's not just dead weight. Belmont, come back! Disobeying your team leader? You don't deserve to share the same battlefield with the big leagues. 